The Suico Low Profile Flow Through Separator allows for high capacity wet or dry scalping in a compact low headroom design. Unlike a standard vibratory round separator that has its motor and weights in the base of the machine, the LX Low Profile has dual motors mounted on opposite sides of the frame, allowing unrestricted flow of material through the machine. A Suico Low Profile is ideal for applications where the material is less than 5% oversize. When a facility has limited space in their process, the low headroom requirements and straight flow design allow the low profile to fit easily into existing processes without reworking the entire system. The dual side mount motors allow for maximum flow of material through the separator. And separation dynamics and discharge pattern can be optimized by adjusting motor force and motor orientation angle. Another Suico offering, the LA Low Profile, offers the same high capacity scalping in a compact design using a single vertically mounted motor. This video will demonstrate how to adjust the motors on a Suico LX Low Profile. But the same process of adjusting the LX motor weights can also be applied to the motor weights of the LA Low Profile. Keep in mind that all of the adjustments to the low profile must be performed after power to the machine has been shut off and locked out and the machine has completely stopped vibrating. There are two adjustments that can be made on a low profile's motors that can influence how material reacts on a screen. The first is the angle at which the motors are mounted on the side of the unit. If the motors were mounted vertically, this would produce the maximum horizontal amplitude with no vertical amplitude. On the other hand, if the motors were mounted horizontally, this would produce the maximum vertical amplitude with no horizontal amplitude. Factory settings orient the motors 30 degrees from vertical. The range of adjustment is 10 degrees to 50 degrees from vertical. Decreasing the angle will increase the horizontal amplitude and decrease the vertical amplitude, while increasing the angle will increase the vertical amplitude and decrease the horizontal amplitude. To adjust the motor mount angle, first loosen the mounting bolts that fasten the motor to the flange. Then rotate the motor to the appropriate angle required for your application. Now retighten the mounting bolts on the flange, making sure to follow the proper torque procedures listed in the user manual. Since both motor mount angles should be set to the same angle, repeat the process on the motor on the other side of the machine. The second adjustment that can be managed is the centrifugal force output. This can be modified by adjusting the eccentric weights on the motors. To access the eccentric weights, first remove the weight cover by removing the four screws. There are two weights on each end of the motor shaft. Loosen the shaft nut that holds the two weights in place. The weights can now be rotated to the desired percentage setting. The factory setting is 50%, which results in 50% of the centrifugal force noted on the nameplate. If additional force is required, rotate the weight to a higher percentage. To decrease the force, rotate the weight to a lower percentage. Once the weights are in place for the desired centrifugal force, properly torque the shaft nut to secure the weights in position. Adjust the other set of eccentric weights on the other side of the motor to mirror images of each other using the same percentage setting. Finally, reinstall the weight covers and repeat the process to the motor on the other side of the machine. Turn the power back onto the low profile and you're once again ready for processing. Correctly establishing the motion on your Suico low profile will allow your separator to perform more efficiently, which will optimize your process and ultimately save you money. If your separator is not performing optimally after making the motor adjustments, contact your Suico sales representative for assistance.